Now, I'm a freshwater fishery scientist and I specialise in freshwater crayfish and native freshwater fish species. Freshwater crayfish are of ecological and cultural significance throughout the world including New Zealand and we've got two endemic species of freshwater crayfish commonly known as coda. Hakoda are considered a taonga species by Māori and are particularly important in the Rotorua and Taupo lakes where large populations exist and they sustain significant customary fisheries. Anecdotal evidence shows there's been considerable declines in Koda populations around the central North Island lakes. They are affected by eutrophication or pest fish and pest plants. The ecology of stream-dwelling coda is well studied in New Zealand, but until recently, very little was known about populations in lakes. And the main reason for that was the absence of a suitable representative sampling method. We adapted a traditional Te Arawa Ngāti Tūwhari Tō method called the tow coda. This method captures a wide size range, so the very small ones to the, the, the largest ones, and also a balanced sex ratio of males to females. In contrast, the conventional trapping methods generally are biased towards uh, large, aggressive males. And when I put the science over the top of that, it pretty much just reinforced that traditional Tauranga knowledge. So we not only revitalised this traditional fishing method, which was disappearing, but we now have a method to sample coda and lakes for research and monitoring purposes. The information we've collected so far we've used to determine the effects of eutrophication, lake restoration initiatives, and the establishment of pest fish in the lakes. And we've also used it to determine and to develop fisheries regulations for the Te Arawa Lakes Trust. This method and variants of it are now being used not only throughout New Zealand, but also Australia, Europe, North and Central America. So you could say we're taking uh, Matauranga Māori to the world and hopefully it will inspire indigenous researchers in other countries to use their traditional ecological knowledge, not only in fishery sciences, but the sciences in general.